It's crazy how fast it really happens. Uh, you know, I mean, it's only been three days since the season ended, and I'm already having a new opportunity. So it's hasn't really hit me yet that uh, that one my career here at Fair State's over. Let alone the fact that uh, I get to move on and live my dream of playing professional hockey. Uh, I just kind of came about through my agent and whatnot, just uh, dealing with different teams. Looked like uh, had a couple different opportunities in the East Coast League, and you know I was fortunate enough to get this offer with Fort Wayne, and you know it just it worked out really well for me and in, uh, in the opportunity that I had with them and. You know, it's a good hockey team. It's a team in second place in the conference, so an opportunity to possibly make a playoff run again. <laughs> you know, just like we just did here. So, you know, it's it's just a perfect fit for me, and I'm really excited to get out there. Uh, Pat Nagel, Garrett Thompson, Mike Embach. You know, those are three guys that are uh, key parts of this program back in the day. You know, Garrett, uh, I got the opportunity to play with him for two years, and he's a great leader, a great guy to have on our team, a tremendous hockey player. Never had the opportunity to play with uh, Pat or Mike, but. You know, I hear nothing but good things about them. And the nice thing about uh, being here and stuff like that, even though I didn't get to play with them, they still give me advice whenever I need it. You know, like yesterday, before I made my decision, I was able to talk to both Pat and Garrett just to kind of get an idea of what I wanted to do. And it's it's really nice to be able to have those fellow Bulldogs there. You know, you, you have friends and stuff. You travel throughout the uh, hockey world that you get to meet. But whenever their old teammates are uh, old from your old uh, alma mater, it's, uh, it's pretty good. So I'm just going to... Basically learn, that's, that's the biggest thing, is do everything I can to soak in all the information and, and learn the game while I, uh, while I can in the, as quick of a timetable as possible. Yeah, it's, it's nice for Simone. I mean, yeah, he's not leaving early. He's, uh, it's not like he signed early. He's been here five years, and it's probably time. And But he, another a player for us, though, that he, he gave us a lot on the ice, uh, but he, he gave the program a lot away from the rink as well. He was been our, our kind of our public spokesperson. He, he attends a lot of different uh, events in the community and, and it, because he's so well-spoken and so well-liked uh, in the community. Another... A uh, player that really had some tremendous leadership qualities and uh, excellent student, and really represented the program well. And uh, I'm excited for him, given the you know his opportunity to go out and stick his toe in uh, the professional ranks, if you will. And and I know he's going to be the really successful, and and no matter where he ends up, whether whether it be in pro hockey or whether it be uh, putting his degree to use, uh, he is uh, really a special person, and and he's going to really. Uh, have a lot to give to whatever uh, endeavor he, he decides to pursue and whoever is fortunate enough to have him as an employee uh, is really getting a quality person.